Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, this is Alon Paul here and we're going to be doing the Anomaly video a little early today, I know it got released, this uh, video is being released a little bit early today, but I'm off from work so I figured, hey, what the heck. Let's go ahead and see what the Anomaly has in store for us today. Doesn't look like our update has come out yet, if there is going to be one, we may just be getting Redux missions, but that's okay. It's all No Man's Sky anyway. So it looks like we're rescuing, rescue, rescuing a stranded life form this time. Get unstable gel times five and 1800 quicksilver. Let's go ahead and get this uh, mission started and on its merry little way. Do a little talking as we go, as we usually do. There we go, mission started. I got my little hunter that I've been using lately to do a little bit of flitting around systems and searching for atlanted multi-tools and such things like that. All right, we're on our merry little way. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting next few weeks. I expect that the Redux expeditions are going to be released soon. Everything's on sale in all the stores. No Man's Sky is half off. For those of you who haven't played No Man's Sky and would like to buy it, now is the time to buy it. 50% off in all the stores with all the DLCs. Oh, do we have to pay for the DLCs? No, you do not ever have to pay for downloadable content for No Man's Sky. All updates are free. All of them. Ever since 2016, all the updates have been free. There's over 20 of them, so... <clears throat> very, very interesting that they would do it that way, but uh, what a great company that they are to uh, have done so. So let's check out to see what this unknown planet has in store for us. Ooh, it's a redacted one. They've got emerald, so this is one of those greener, uh, the green uh, uh, stuff that you can get here. So if you don't have the hyperdrive to get here, this mission will get you into one of these systems and you will be able to set up a quick base here or hit the space station while you're here. That way you can always come back to the system anytime you want to get some emerald. All right, let's see what our planet looks like here. Stranded life form approximate location. Okay, so we're gonna have to look for this guy. Let me slow it down. Now I got a new video card, so that should allow things to pop in a little bit quicker now. And if we go into first person view, ah, see that little black, that little yellow dot on our radar? That should be our life form. He's probably just up ahead. Right over this rise. And down below. Sure enough, there he is. Let's drop in on him. Uh, as long as we don't land right on top of him, for Pete's sake. Ah, alright. Looks like a fellow traveler. I hear a sharp intake of breath from the traveler. They begin to reach towards me, then pause, as though thinking better of it. In despair, traveler... That Lyaguin shows me their ship's shattered communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. Okay. So we got to look for the part and then fix it. Now, sometimes on some of these planets, on this one, it looks like Sentinels are intermittent. There's a good chance that we may get attacked by corrupted Sentinels. So just keep that in mind. So as we hit the F button, it should focus us towards where we're going to find something. And it's usually going to be buried technology. Now, there's two ways to get to Berry Technology. You can use a terrain manipulator if you want to blast through the ground. But if you have the ability to go into a first-person view, you can sometimes get to it this way. And it looks like we found an encrypted control unit. Okay, so you can go into first-person view and pick them up without having to dig. A little quick tidbit of how to do things. So what we have to do is we have to analyze it, and if it turns out to be a good unit, it'll show us where we can go. Let's find out. Yep, we got a decryp decryption terminal. Now, sometimes you'll find a unit, you'll do this, and it says, ooh, it was a bad unit, and you're not going to find what you're looking for. So that sometimes happens. So the decryption unit is 11 minutes on foot. I do suggest taking your own ship there. So I can get my ship out from amongst the crap that's here. Pardon me. All right. And we'll head on our merry little way. I love these rings on these planets. If it'll allow me to fly right through them. <laughs> and the description terminal is right down there. 
Whoa, okay. A little side drift. Now keep your eyes peeled, because we could get into a firefight. Guess what? We have to take out the corrupted sentinels. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over to a different weapon, which is going to be my polygon blaster. And we're going to use the mining beam. The mining beam on this weapon, just so you know, is the runic lens. Now I could use, of course, my trusty, dusty little um, neutron cannon if I wish. But you know what? I'm not going to. We're going to use the mining beam. Why? You'll see. It's a lot more fun. Gone. There's two. Where's the rest? Fastest mining beam in the west. Three. Any more? I think that's all of them. So, in case you're wondering about these mining beams, that's how fast it takes things out. On Atlantid Multi-Tools, it is very fast mining, indeed. That's what it focuses on, and it's great for taking out Sentinels and having fun with them. Alright, let's see what we got. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. So, we've taken everybody out. We're going to decrypt it. Uh, communicator control unit detected. Pairing. Key downloaded. Syncing. Device decrypted. We now have a working unit. So now we can bring it back. Very kind of a gray planet with only very, very little color on it, huh? Interesting. All right. So we're on our way back. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. There we go. Very fast little ship. And this time we're going to try not to land right on top of him. There we go. Off to one side a little bit. All right. Sir. Here is your decrypted unit. You hear a shopper and take a breath. They reach out towards me. Yeah, they did that again. I'm going to give the part and guess what he does? He does that and just disappears. And that's it. It's like, hey, um... Yeah, you're welcome. Good grief. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, no appreciation anymore. But that's it. Pretty much the whole mission is complete, and we can get on our merry little way. So, very interesting little planet. It's not really my cup of tea, but if it's yours, feel free to create a base on it. Alright, we're back off to the Nexus. To get our reward. And here we go. Now, in case you're all wondering, no, there will be no live streams this weekend from me, either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, too many other things have been planned out for me, and uh, I've got uh, too many, too many appointments going on. So we will not be streaming. There will be a few more videos coming out. Watch, and you'll see several videos coming out. Uh, I do record early in the mornings in order to get things done. So watch for those. I've got other videos in the plan in the making as well. All right, so here we are back at the Nexus. Complete the mission. And look at that, less than 10 minutes completed. Back to my original staff weapon because, frankly, it just looks cool. Does it not? Come on, that looks really cool. Anyway, moving on. That should do it, folks. So this mission is complete. Please leave comments in the comments section down below if you have any questions, especially about this mission. We are working on Atlantid Multi-Tools and Atlantid Multi-Tool upgrades in some of the uh, videos I'm coming out with because we're I'm kind of focused on that lately because of some weird issues coming up in regards to certain upgrades or blueprints being available only for Atlantid Multi-Tools that certain individuals have got but for some reason, no one else has ever seen before. So we're working on those. It's a mystery right now, and we're trying to figure that out. In the meantime, please hit the like and subscribe. And as always, we will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.